I just need to find someone to cuddle up to tonight, and I'll be the happiest woman on the Sword Coast. You got anyone in mind? Withers was giving me the old eye the other night. <laughs> then again, maybe it was just an old eye. <laughs> All right, we are back in Baldur's Gate with Hathic Willowhane and his team, who in the last episode learned that the Last Light Inn is the most happening place in all of Faerun. It seems just about every person we've ever met in this game is hanging out in the Last Light Inn right now. Now for today's episode, I think we're kind of just along for the ride, at least at the beginning. We came back to camp to grab Halson and tell him there's someone that we think he needs to meet at the inn, but he took off on his own and said catch up with him when we can. So we're going to head back to the inn. There's still a few more people for us to talk to. At bare minimum, we got to talk to Isabel, but there's a few people kicking around we want to check in with. And then we'll see if we can catch up with Halson. Hopefully he is still at the inn and has not taken off from there. But either way, that's the plan. Let's jump in. Oh, fantastic. Halson's here. I was afraid he might have run off. All right, we're not going to check in with him right away because I imagine that's going to push the story forward. We're going to explore just a bit more, and we also have to talk with Isabel. Um, and then we'll come back and check with him. But we've got a letter from Counselor Floric we can read here. Let's take a look at that. To those searching for the Grand Duke, our Flaming Fist detachment has returned to Baldur's Gate for reinforcements. We have identified the Absolute Cult as Duke Ravenguard's abductors, and that Moonrise Towers is their base, but we are too few to assault it. Upon our returning to the city, I will urge the immediate formation of an expeditionary force led by those new Steel Watchers to attempt a rescue of the Grand Duke. In the meantime, we could be wrong, so keep searching. Be of stout heart. Help is on the way, Counselor Floric. All right. All right. Out we go. Do anything else you guys got in here? Hold on a second. Do they have any other letters? They have a Harper's Testimonial. Let's take a look at that. A Harper's Testimonial. The last stand of Kethric Thorm, chosen of Shar. The pursuant text describes a battle between Kethric Thorm's faithful and magical Harper forces. I do not know what magic the Dark Justiciers summoned to our plane, but if it came from the Weave, then let it be cursed for eternity. For three days we sieged the towers, for three days their dark bolts cleaved our ranks, and on the third day, as his men and women at last began to fall, Kethric entered battle. Dark bolts cleaved our ranks. That is, that is very interesting. Hmm. All right. Out we go. Ceres. Thought you'd be ten yards tall the way Zevlor spoke of you. Mm. Ceres, Scout. Seems we missed one another at the Grove, but the others told me how you helped us. I missed you at a the pity. Grove? You pulled them from one death trap only for me to land them in this one. Hey, don't be too hard on yourself. Oh man, I want to ask her about all this stuff, but I definitely want to make sure Zevlar's still alive. So in case we don't get every option here, we're going to start with this. I don't see Zevlar. Don't tell me he's missing as well. Aye. And more oh, than half the no. others we were ambushed out in the cursed uh. lands. <laughs> Cultists of this absolute. Zevlor froze, begged us to surrender. That but sounds like Zevlor. <laughs> they were toying with us, making examples. And we'd had enough of taking it. Those of us who cut free just kept running till we found this place. The others. Maybe the cult got them. Maybe the curse. Oh, I really want to know why they're here. What are you doing here to begin with? You guys were bound for Baldur's Gate. This army of the Absolute is growing and flowing towards Moonrise. There's worse than goblins on the roads now. I thought we might pass unnoticed along the fringes of this place. Ah. Escape the Owlbear by hiding in its shadow, so to speak. You can see exactly how well that went. Eh, fair enough. Well, don't lose hope. The others might still be alive. Zevlor had hope. No, it didn't no. save him. A little sense will serve us better, I think. But... Thanks. It was sweet of you to try. Mm. All right. Oh my god, are you... Oh no, I'm not talking to this guy. <laughs> oh my god, everyone is... Who are you... Is this Mole? It's Mole. God damn it, Mole. What are you doing talking to this guy? Get away from him. What is he playing? Someone's been skimming our supplies. Lance board? I want to steal this. All right, hold on a second. I don't even know what Maybe to do with this. Long. I don't want to talk to Raphael in here. That can't be good news. Oh, oh my God. All right. Did he see us yet? He should stop us. He should be like, hey, what are you doing? <laughs> We're going to step away from him for just a second. I just want to see what's in this door. 
Uh, we're probably gonna talk to him before we talk to Isabel. Oh my god, this is such a bad idea. <laughs> I feel like talking to Isabel is gonna really either push things forward or mess things. Like, she's gonna have to stop what she's doing to talk to us, or she's just gonna be like, don't talk to me until you go to Moonrise Towers or whatever. I'm still worried. We already talked with you, right? Murkon, you're just having a ton of fun in here, huh? Murkon, I'm gonna look in your wooden chest. Something over there. Something over where? Oh, there's a loose floorboard. Huh. All right, we're not stealing from them, even though it's not stealing, I'm leaving them with their stuff. I'm just worried about missing, uh, missing out on cool story beats. <laughs> All right, we are definitely looking in the loose plank. All right, there's a scribbled note. We're gonna read that. The journal's script is antiquated, but its pages look like they're barely aged. How much longer must I languish here? I'd hoped to be in Baldur's Gate a 10 day ago, but the blasted toll housekeeper won't accept my papers. When father hears about this, he'll be furious. There's something odd about this village. People skulk around like there's something to hide. The shrines to the Moon Maiden seem ill-tended and barren. I'd hope to learn more about Catherick Thorm, the village's leader. Oh, very interesting. But talk of him seems to put people on edge. I'm not sure I can bear another hour in this loathsome place. Now, Jahira mentioned, I'm gonna take that just in case you run into that guy. Uh, a snowburst ring. When the wearer deals cold damage, they also create a 15 foot circle of ice around the targets. We're gonna take it. It was under a floorboard by somebody probably here long, long ago. I'm gonna say it's uh, up for grabs. Yeah. Now, Jahira mentioned uh, like Thorm's army or something. I forget exactly what she said. She was saying something about, it, there's Catherick Thorm basically is undead at Moonrise Towers, so. Uh, it's going to be very interesting to see what Shadowheart has to say about all this. Oh, let's look at the blackboard. A faded advertisement, its message still faintly legible. Fresh veg and fancy fruit. Mm. Buy two, get one free. All right, I can't put it off any longer. Uh, I'm only going to talk to Raphael. This is against all of my better judgment, but he's literally sitting right here. We can't not talk to him. But I just feel like he's going to do something terrible. <laughs> all right, here we go. Here we go. Your move, more. You trap me! I didn't even want to take this one! Kalim Shan rules, dear. The first piece touched is the first piece moved. That's garbage! No matter where the night goes, I'm gonna lose it! Then make the sacrifice useful. Guard your mistra, or come for my Cyric. Look who made it! For once, I saved your butt out there, didn't I? Where's Square now, Chief? Yeah, fair Say, enough. Say, do you play lance ball by any chance? It's my first time playing. <laughs> Always laid a fine trap for you, Mole. Oh my god, I failed my to insight. Me like his Cyric could be dethroned. All right, we failed our insight check, which was probably going to be us knowing how to play this game. We do have pretty good sleight of hand. We could jostle the board Maul's way, but I think we're going to agree with Gail. He he gave some advice. It sounds like he knows what he's talking about, so we'll say, uh, Gail's right. Put pressure on him. Attack the pieces in front of his Cyric. Gail approves. Of course he does. Now watch. Now watch. The devil's going to just take her soul. <laughs> Checkmate. My, the Thescan double counter gambit. Vicious. <laughs> exactly what I would have done. Gail approves. How's that for Callum Sham rules? Brava. Lovely work. I see I was right to make you the offer I did. Oh, no. You will consider it, won't you? No, 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 no. No, he let you win. No, 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 no. <laughs> what a lovely specimen she is. A blushing apple begging to be plucked. All right, pal. The Thescan move suggestion was inspired. I had no idea you played. A list of my many hidden talents would stretch to Avernus and back. <laughs> Done. I can most certainly believe it. But don't you worry about Maul. It goes without saying she still has the unconditional freedom oh, I hate you. <laughs> to choose the only option she has left. Uh, I Besides, hate this guy. I do enjoy being in this neighborhood again. It has such a rich history of abject tragedy. And tragedy, my friend. <laughs> well, there's my bread and bloody butter. 
All right, well, I definitely want to know more about how this place became the Shadow Curse Land, if he has any insight here, so... We're gonna ask him. I can't resist a good tragedy. Indulge me. What happened here? Come now. You'd have me tell you? Spoil all the fun. <laughs> Suffice to say there's ambition, folly, and death aplenty. The rest, well, I'll let you uncover that yourself. All right, just stay away from Maul, you hear? She won. Galapruz. She has a taste for it now. <laughs> She'll be the one who comes to me. But enough about my lesser pursuits. Why bother with trifles when I'm in the illustrious presence of my very favorite client? I am not your client. Tell me, <laughs> oh apple of my eye, how have you been? You don't have any gills to get green around yet, but you do look a little worse for wear hey, in fuck this you. light. <laughs> you know, I've never been better. Splendid. And yet, I have this picture in my head of you tossing and turning in the middle of the night, thinking strange things, dreaming strange dreams. And there's this little voice inside of you asking, is this my will? Uh. Or is it the worms? <laughs> but you have no answer and no way of knowing. The good <laughs> thing is, though, there's only one little voice you really should listen to. Mine. See you soon. Oh my god. Alright. <laughs> Theshkin Tactician Gale is inspired. Nice, we got our inspiration back, and Raphael has disappeared, and he took the chessboard with him. I wanted that. Journal updated the Pale Elf. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Asterion said he wanted to talk to, uh, Raphael if we ever ran into him again. We met Raphael at the Last Light Inn, but he left before Asterion could ask him anything. Raphael seemed to think we'd meet again soon, uh, though so perhaps Asterion will have another opportunity. Hmm. Well, we'll see about that, Asterion. Alright, we're gonna go talk with Maul real quick. Here. See if we can convince her to leave this devil alone. Nice strategy back there. If we put our heads together, I bet you and me can make a tidy stack of coin in Baldur's Gate. <laughs> <laughs> but Raphael's offered me a partnership oh, already, and it God. seems like a sweeter deal than throwing my lot in with you. All right, we're going to try to persuade her. Raphael is a real, literal devil. You and your soul are in danger, Maul. All right. Bonuses. Yeah, we'll take Voice of the Circle from Lizelle. Done. All right, here we go. Big money. First roll. Mmm. Cutting it close. <laughs> You... you aren't joking. Oh, I kind of believe him more now than I did a minute ago. Oh, no. <laughs> what exactly did he offer you? Protection for me and my kids, that's oh, all. Oh, no. <laughs> no. Not that it's any of your business. I'm not poking my nose into whatever trade you made with him. All right. We're going to try to persuade her one more time. It's simply a professional curiosity, Mole. Devils of lore don't usually deal in such low stakes. All right, we still got our guidance. We have our voice of the circle from Lizelle. We don't need anything else. Oh, fuck. I'm going to take the advantage. I don't care. I want to save these kids. <laughs> We're doing it. Here we go. Big money. Oh, nice. Fantastic. He said he could get me and my gang to Baldur's Gate. I reckon he can do it, too. Don't care what your law says. Oh, my God. Kid. And also, when we get there, I'd be head of the Thieves Guild. All right, we're just going to be straight with her. Trust me, Maul. It sounds good, but it's not worth it. Easy for you to say. You can do what you want, go where you want. My kids need protecting, and I'm going to protect them. Oh, my God, Look, just go to my camp. <laughs> you saved us. Not knocking that. But after you left, Zevlor lost his nerve. Gave up the fight. I won't. Now there's no grove, no coin, no one taking us to the city. I'm not letting my crew get eaten by shadows. Go Maybe to I'll my make camp. A deal. Maybe I won't. <laughs> but it'll be my choice. Not the devil's. And not yours. Oh my god, we're just gonna pick these kids up and run. <laughs> 
Oh my god, just go to my camp. We're gonna get to Baldur's Gate eventually. <laughs> Alright, we can't put it up any longer. We're gonna go talk to Isabel. And then we will talk with, um, Halson. Isabel, I'm so sorry to interrupt. Oh, shit! We've got Shadowheart here. <laughs> this is, a uh, uh... This is a follower of Saluna, huh? Mmm. You see how much power you could wield, Shadowheart, if you would just leave the shadows? <laughs> you could be protecting us all the time. I didn't realize I had an audience. The true soul who's going to save us all. I'm Isabel. Pleased to meet you. And you. I've heard you're the protector of this inn, the banisher of shadows. Myself and Our Lady are doing what we can to hold the line. I hear you and your tadpole will be our offense. Free from the Absolute's influence, yet able to walk among cultists. It's almost too good to be true. But I'd be a poor cleric indeed not to avail of a blessing when I see one. Let me guess. Jahira sent you to beg a protection <laughs> spell of her favorite cleric. Nice. Oh, nice. You see, Shadowheart? You see how nice it is in the light? <laughs> Perfect. It'll make you immune to the lesser effects of the Shadow Curse. Nice. Which will get you closer to the towers. But there are places it won't help. Places where the curse is darker, stronger. All right. The cultists are able to traverse even the deepest shadows, though. I don't know how. The Harpers are trying to figure it out. Salunite ah. magic. Dark lady, forgive All right, me. stow it. Quiet down. Good nose. Like a nasty little terrier. <laughs> Anything else I should know before heading off? Ketherick is a frightening man. Mm. But you have something he doesn't. Allies worth having. While you're busy in the towers, I'll be sure to... Wait. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Something's wrong. <laughs> oh, I wanted to talk to Halson. Ah, oh, shit. Hello, Isabel. Marcus, is that you? What's happened to you? Look at Shadowheart's face. <laughs> I've been blessed. You can be too. Oh, no. Come with me, and you can hear all about it from Ketherick himself. Isabel, do you know this man? He's a flaming fist. Or was. He came with the others when we created this haven. And I thank you for your hospitality. True How did he soul, get in? My instructions are clear. Take the girl to Ketherick alive. Oh, shit. All right, we're going to see if we can probe his thoughts for more information. We're going to do it. Nice. Not even a tough check. All right. Big money. We got this. Easy, easy, easy. Come on. Nice. A haunting face swims into your mind's eye. Its instructions vivid in your mind. Nothing Interesting. is more important than bringing the girl alive. What's going on? If you have something to say, say it. Oh, man. How the hell did you get in here if she's protecting us from all this stuff? All right. We're going to tell her what we know. Marcus is trying to kidnap you, Isabel. We're going to need to fight our way out of this one. Oh, God. Here we go. Pathetic. <laughs> Everybody approves. Sees all. Your treachery will be punished. The absolute. Of course. You can't believe them, Marcus. Ketherick will never give you whatever it is you've been promised. He already has. Time to go, Isabel. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I was good. I should have talked to Nelson first. <laughs> Shit. Oh, no. <laughs> no. Oh, I've goofed. Oh, god damn it. Oh my god. Oh, he goes first and he misses. Marcus gets a lot of... Oh no, he's getting opportunity attacks. Fantastic. Alright, we're trying to bite him, but we're missing. We've got inspiration. 
Gale gets an opportunity attack. Marcus is just flying all over the place. All right, finally, it's our turn. We're going to take the Quasit. He's the only one that can go, and he's going to come up and he's going he's gonna to scratch Marcus. Go for it. Beautiful. It's four damage. I love it. <laughs> That's it. That's it. What are these things? Winged Horrors. You can say that again. The Winged Horror uses dash. I guess they're going to focus on us, huh? They claw Isabel. Where is she? She got a little bit hurt. This is, this is going to get ugly. All right, Lizelle, you are going to have to do your magic. Let's get you behind this guy. Let's take a look at him. Uh, he's got a Great Weapon Master, Dark Devotion, advantage on saving throws against being charmed or frightened. Interesting. Good to know. Got an extra attack. Feral Instinct. You have honed your instincts to the utmost degree. You gain a plus three bonus to initiative and can't be surprised. Interesting. He also has Tenacity. When you miss an attack, you deal six bludgeoning damage anyway. What? Fuck that. <laughs> All right, Lizelle, it's time to start doing what you do. How about some Soul Breaker to start? Boom. Whack. A miss. Lizelle. <laughs> Lizelle, no. Uh, let's see if we can get him to drop his weapon. Done. Come on, Lizelle, don't miss. All right, whatever. We're going to keep trying. We're going to use our action surge. Let's hit him with another disarming attack. He can't can't keep missing forever, Lizelle. Beautiful critical hit. He drops his weapon. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh my god. All right. He has he has advantage against being frightened, so we're not going to frighten him. Uh, we are going to hit him with a main hand. No, we're going to hit him with a lacerate because we can make him bleed for two turns. Done. Beautiful. He saved on the lacerate. That's just fine. We're going to hit him with a pommel strike. Just hit him with everything we got. And hurt him just a little, little tiny bit. <laughs> All right, Haytha can't put anybody to sleep, so we're gonna, we're gonna hit Marcus with some dissonant whispers. Done and done. He's immune to fright, and he took nine damage. I love it. <laughs> How about uh, a little bardic inspiration for Shadowheart? She'll be up next. Beautiful, and that gives us some health as well. All right, Jahira's turn. Jahira has to fight her own people. That is a bummer. Does she? Oh no, nice. She did Ice Storm on the Winged Horrors. Beautiful. That's a damn good attack. Jahira, you gotta come with us. All right, Shadowheart, you know what to do. Spirit Guardians, Radiant Damage. Let's go. Beautiful. Beautiful. You know what? Let's also cast your spiritual weapon. We'll take an ax and we'll put it out here. Uh, we'll put it here. Done. Next to this guy. We'll keep laying in on Marcus. Beautiful. All right. The winged horrors are gonna go. <laughs> here we go. Winged horror uses dash. Runs on in. Gets hit with spirit guardians. I love it. Another horror goes. They're all surrounding us. This is terrifying. <laughs> the other one tried to use dash and fell over. Beautiful. All right, Scratch. You know what to do. Go ahead and bite. And you missed. That's okay. That's okay. All right. One of the Harpers was surprised. It happens. You know, Gale, it's been a while. How about some Cloud of Daggers? Level three. Can we get these guys only? I think we can. There. Just there. Perfect. Beautiful. Nice. All right. One of them went down. That's good. And it looks like Isabel's just out of harm's reach. We're going to have to heal Isabel. Mm. All right. Gail, that's about all you can do. Why don't you just stay right there? You're just fine. Isabel! Oh, she is in the Cloud of Daggers. Oops. <laughs> She's guiding Bolt on Marcus, and she heals herself a little bit. Good. All right, more of the Harpers are surprised. One of them uses a ranged attack on the downed horror. Good. Good, good, good. All right, it is Shadowheart's spiritual weapon's turn, and let's use Lacerate on Marcus. Done. 17 damage. Beautiful. Maybe we could put him to sleep next round. Oh, nice. Halson's here. Sort of. Halson's sitting downstairs. We can't see him. <laughs> He's using dash. There we go. And he missed his steps. Sorry. Scratch gets a attack of opportunity. So does Shadowheart. It looks like this bastard's gonna leave. No! What did he do? I don't know what he did. He did something. I missed it. All right, Lizelle's got him pinned in the corner. It is Basket's turn. Basket, come give him a scratch. And a miss. It happens. 
A bunch of horrors are gonna go in a row. Critical hits on Harpers. Oh, they move quick. They paralyzed one of the Harpers. All right, Lizelle, time to dig in on Marcus here. Main hand attack. Done, don't miss. Nice, nice. One more main hand attack, here we go. Boom. Nice, 21 points left. If we can get to Haythik, he's going to bed. Oh, it's Haythik's turn. Beautiful. Worth the cost. All right, Marcus, if you can go to sleep, you're going to sleep, you can indeed. Good night, Marcus. Beautiful. And we are gonna take this opportunity to heal Isabel if we can. Level three, she's not doing well at all. Done. Healing word on Isabel. She's a little bit better. She's still surrounded, it's not ideal. Jahira, we need you up here. You gotta make quick work of these horrors. She unparalyzes one of the Harpers and uses an offhand attack on the- Oh! Oh, nice. One of the- One of the horrors went down. Alright, I am very worried about us losing Isabel here, and she's the only person protecting this place if it, if it ends up staying protected after this. So we're gonna use aid at level three on everybody in our vicinity. Done, including Isabel. Yes, indeed. Awesome. Alright, Isabel, you're doing just a little bit better. Just a little bit better. 32 hit points, that's a lot better. Double what you had. So, alright, there's not much you can do, Shadowheart. Why don't you entertain the troops? Bardic dance. <laughs> Done. <laughs> alright, horrors go and they critical hit on Isabel! Stop it! Stop it! <laughs> no! No! Alright. Scratch. Jesus Christ. Oh my god. Alright, come around. Scratch is gonna bite one of these horrors. Done. And a miss. Scratch has missed every turn, I think, so far. Alright, we got a paralyzed Harpers. All sorts of stuff going on everywhere here. This is craziness. Alright, Gail, how about some magic missile on these horrors that are threatening Isabel so directly? I will do three into this guy. Done. And two into this guy. Done. Oh, I probably should have put them all into one guy. I was hoping at least one of them would go down. Oh, so close. <laughs> All right, Isabel, heal yourself, please. She's paralyzed, damn it. All right, Harper jumps. Please lay in on that horror. Let's get Jahira up here, you miss. Another Harper rushes in, ranged attack, misses on the horror that's downstairs. Little help upstairs, guys. Let's see if Shadowheart's spiritual weapon can put this horror down. Come on. Nice, done and done. One of them is down, beautiful. Harpernasia shoots on the horror, finally gets a hit, and Halson, you're finally in the mix here. Calls lightning on the horror, does a little bit of damage, and turns into a bear. Nice. The general will be pleased if you go quietly. You're sleeping, you don't get to talk to us. <laughs> Alright, Basket, come around and bite this guy. Or scratch him, rather. And a miss. Beautiful. Oh, critical hit on one of the Harpers, a miss on one of the other Harpers. Mmm. Getting dangerous. All right, Lizelle, this guy's only sleeping for one more turn. You should be able to put him down. Let's see if you can do it. Main hand attack, here we go. Critical hit, he's done. Beautiful, beautiful. Can you jump over here and take out this guy as well? Done. Main hand attack on the horror. Beautiful, puts him down as well. Good job, Lizelle. All right, Haythik, you're gonna do a little more healing word again on Isabel, because she is just not doing well. <laughs> done. Done and done. All right, and there's no more threats in here, so let's step out and see if we can start helping the guys down here. All right, unfortunately, Haythik can't hit them with any spells. I guess they're just slightly out of range or out of sight, but we can hit them with a ranged attack, so let's do that. How about the Arrow of Ilmater on this guy? Done. Beautiful. Saved on the Elmater, but took a little bit of damage. Fantastic. All right, Jahira, do your stuff. Come on. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right, Shadowheart, you're a little too far and out of sight to help with any of your spells, but can we get your spiritual weapon down here? Let's see. Uh, out to the outside we can. Yeah, sure. We'll send it down there to help just in case. Done. All right, Gale, you are out of sight, but you should be able to hit this guy with magic missile, you can indeed. We're just gonna hit him with level three magic missile, unload everything into this guy, done. Put him down. Oh, so close. All right, that's Gale's turn. Oh, 
And the Harpers misses firing on the horror. Come on, guys. Come on. Everything you got here. Beautiful. There we go. Sight in that corpse, brimming with potent magic. All right. Well, I'm gonna go. I'll go get it. <laughs> we'll go search Marcus. Oh, Isabel. Nope. Jahira you runs right? up. I'm fine. <coughs> Marcus has been with us since the start. They've been tracking us this whole time. And that was no random attack. You were the target, Isabel. They know how important you are. But they don't know about you. <laughs> Ketherick will strike again. We need you to strike first. Discover the source of his invulnerability. Make him mortal so we can make him bleed. Uh. Good luck. Uh. <laughs> We're in more danger than I knew. If something happens to me, everyone in this inn is dead. Like that. Marcus said that Kethrick wanted you captured, not killed. Why? Why does a man like him do anything? Power, spite, some kind of twisted personal morality. I can understand why he'd want me dead. Without me keeping the curse at bay, everyone in this inn, everyone intent on killing him, is dead too. As for why he'd want to take me alive, I don't know. And I don't want to find out. All right. Now that we have you. I hope I won't have to. Well, once I take Kethrick's head, you'll be safe again. No mercy. For Kethrick will have none on you. End this. Yeah, for real. Still oh, amazing. nice. We all leveled up. Despite Beautiful. Everything. First, we're going to search Marcus, who had the shifting corpus ring, grants invisibility and blur. Attackers have disadvantage on attack rolls against you. That is very interesting. We're going to take that. Someone might wear that. He's got another Mind Flayer Parasite specimen. We're going to send that to camp. We'll see what was in these winged horrors. They probably don't have anything. They have nothing. We'll take his weapon. Was that just a regular Great Club? No, he had a, a Great Club with tenacity. When you miss an attack, you deal one bludgeoning damage. Anyway, that is wild. <laughs> it is wild. We have better weapons across the board, though. All right, we got to go talk to Halson, but the very first thing we got to do is we got to take a long rest and we're going to level up as well. So off to camp we go. Done. Hastic is a level seven bard. His health increases to 45. That's awesome. And he gains a spell. Nice. Man, these all sound very interesting. Uh, I think we're going to go with Polymorph. It's probably dumb, but I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. We're going to have fun with it. You can turn people into a sheep. <laughs> So he'll turn uh, people who are dangerous into sheep while we deal with all of their minions on the battlefield. I love it. All right, done. That's Aethic. Up next, Shadowheart gets her health increased as well. She gets a bunch of level four spells and some trickery domain spells. She gets freaking po polymorph. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. <laughs> I don't think I can change Aethic spells until the next time we level up. The God damn it. <laughs> she also gets Dimension Door. This is an awesome one. You can teleport yourself and an ally to somewhere you can see. All right, we are for sure going to take Guardian of Faith. Call forth a divine guardian that attacks nearby enemies. Every time it deals damage, the guardian loses an equal amount of hit points. All right, we're also swapping in Banishment. Temporarily banish your target to another plane of existence. I like that. Banish from this plane of existence. Can't be targeted, can't move or take actions, bonus actions or reactions. Incapacitated. So that's like uh, another way for us to control the battlefield, like with sleep and now with two people having polymorph. God damn it, Shadowheart. All right, Shadowheart, that's you. Up next, who's up next? Gale? Gale's health increases and he gains two spells. I love it. All right, we're going to try out Phantasmal Killer, 4 to 40 damage, haunt a creature with its worst nightmares. It takes 4 to 40 psychic damage per turn. Cannot move, has disadvantage on ability checks and attack rolls for 10 turns. That is insane. And we're going to take Wall of Fire. He's dressed in his fire gear. He's been using, doing a bunch of fire damage. It does 5 to 40 damage, creates a blazing wall of fire, burning anyone who dares stand too close. We'll mess around with that for a little bit. All right, Gale, that's you. Leveled up. Let's see, Lazelle. Lazelle increases her health and gets uh, another maneuver. Awesome. Oh, she gets two more maneuvers. Nice. All right, we've taken Goading Attack. Uh, goad an enemy into attacking only you. It gains disadvantage on attack rolls against anyone but you. So if it does attack somebody else, it'll get disadvantage. But Lazelle is set up to take attack. She will take... Uh, all incoming damage is reduced by two. 
and anybody that does manage to attack her is sent reeling for three turns and gets a negative one penalty on attack rolls. She's basically set up for that. And I also, because of that, got her repost. When a hostile creature misses you with a melee attack, they you can expend a superiority die to retaliate. When a hostile creature misses you with a melee attack, expend a superiority die to retaliate with a powerful strike that deals an additional 1d8 damage. That sounds fantastic. Lazelle, you are, as always, the MVP of the team. All right, that's everybody. How does Shadowheart have nothing to I say? Let me check in with Shadowheart real quick. You got nothing to say about this? Oh, all right, nice. Let's find out. Uh, Kethrick Thorm, what do you think of him? Difficult to say. A fellow servant of the Night Singer would surely be an ally to me under most circumstances. But something doesn't add up. I'll need to see where his allegiances truly lie. <laughs> oh, God. We're taking his head. <laughs> all right. All right, we are ready to go talk to Halson, and fantastically, Shadowheart is now casting level four aid. We have so many hit points. <laughs> That's great. We cast aid every time we come out of a long rest, which gives us uh, bonus hit points yeah. until the next long rest. Halson, what have you learned so far? Thank you and me. I'm climbing up a tree. It's true, then. He's met Thaniel. There's no other way he'd know that name. Mm. This is just what we needed. Well done. We need to wake him. He must know something about where to find Thaniel. Any ideas? If he was able to escape the Shadowfell, then it mustn't have managed to consume his spirit. Well, not all of it, anyway. We need to unlock whatever's left of him inside his head. There must be something to trigger him. A word, a memory, an item. We just need to find it. Wait! Take this letter. It was in his pocket. Hmm. He doesn't seem to have any reaction to it now, but it might help. All right, we'll see if I guess if they know any other ways. There must be some other way to lift this curse. Without Daniel, no. And I don't know how I can find him without speaking to this man. All right, well, I'll see what I can do. I don't deserve you, my friend. And we've got the worn letter. Assigny, art color, rank, flame. Objective, to obtain information about current activities in Moonrise Towers and its environs, headed by Cathric Thorm of the region's ancestral Thorm family. Take lodging in the Last Light Inn and begin investigation in the local House of Healing. Hmm, interesting. Reports indicate corruption, but no corroboration has yet been obtained. Note, the region's Thorm family are long-standing devotees of Saluna, but rumors indicate a Sharan enclave might be gaining momentum. Investigate and report. Signed, Grand Duke Elton. Hmm. We're going to check in with Chihira one more time before we leave. Uh, we also have to talk with Damon one more time before we leave here, and there's some Harpers we're supposed to talk to on the bridge. But before we do that, let's see what if Chihira has anything to say after that big battle. Probably not. Traitors among us. A child taken. And still, I can only feel relief if they had taken Isabel. Oh, too shit, that's right, they got Maul. Damn it. I assume you have some payback in mind. You know me already. But you'll have the honor of making up for my blunder here. I trust that you will. Come with us. What are you doing? I mean, I know, yeah, they need someone to help guard them here, but I feel like you'd be more, more help with us on the road. All right, let's see if she has anything else to talk about. Then speak. Oh, interesting. We can learn a little bit more about this. Uh, well, first, let's learn about her. I've heard your name before. Where? Ugh, some crusty ballad monger, I expect. They have me <laughs> slaying gods or laying with them, depending on the bard. Yeah, all right. We're definitely, we're definitely saying this. I feel your pain. My companion, Volo, is loose with the truth, too. <laughs> Volo fam Kedarm? Oh, that old fraud should be dust a century past. But then... Lies live forever, and he's half made of this stuff. <laughs> well, you don't seem overly pleased to be remembered. It was a lifetime ago, and for all our victories, the world is no more balanced than when we began. We fight, we die, and we just hope that when our time comes, there is someone else to take our place. Surely you've made more of a difference than that. The songs would have you believe we saved the realms entire. Perhaps we did. 
They simply refuse to stay saved. Oh, <laughs> just, just come with us. Oh my God, you people. All right, we're gonna go talk with Damon. Uh, I think we we should go pick up um, Carlac before we do that, though. We'll stop at the camp real quick. I'm gonna grab Carlac and then we're gonna go talk to Damon. Oh, nice. Let's see what she has to say about the possibility of fixing her engine. It sounds like all we need to do to fix your engine is find some infernal iron. Let's hope Damon is as good as he seems. Once my engine's handled, I can focus on more important matters. Tadpoles, cults, frosty pints. <laughs> All right, and we've got Carlac, but we do have to level her up before we go. Let's see what she gets at level seven. Health increase, and she gets feral instinct. You have honed your instincts to the utmost degree. You gain a plus three bonus to initiative and can't be surprised. Man, she actually is pretty damn cool. All right. All right, we've got Carlac. She's all leveled up. Time to go get her heart fixed. There you are. I was wondering where you'd run off to. Well, two things. Oh, no. Good news <laughs> and bad news. Oh, what do you want to hear first, Carlac? The good news, obviously. Oh my god, your attitude. I only need one <laughs> we have a more talk piece about you. of infernal iron to craft an insulating chamber that can make it possible for Carlac to... Touch people! Exactly! Oh my god. It's really happening. It's been so long. We've got the iron. Let's do this thing! Hang on! I think you'll want to hear the bad news too. <laughs> yeah, sure. But first. No, 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 no. Fix me. Please. What is the bad news? Let's let Damon speak. This sounds important. Fine. Well, go on then. I don't enjoy saying this, Carlac. But there's no two ways about it. Your engine is going to blow and I can't fix it. Oh, no. I'm not sure anyone can. It's simply too hot to exist here in the material plane. Unless you return to Avernus. Ah. For good. <laughs> this thing is going to blow. Uh. Sooner rather than later. But... But still, you, you can give me something that will let me touch again, right? Safely. Yes, but... That's all I need to know. <laughs> Do it. Please. All right. It's what she wants, so... We're going to give him the iron. Let's make this happen. Man, my entire team is going to blow up. Well, <laughs> all right. This shouldn't take long. It's just going to be Haythic and Asterion hanging out at camp at the very end of this game. Same as last time. You'll need to install it yourself. This should do the trick. <sighs> so did it... work? I mean, you're still on Only fire. Only way to find out. We'll give her a hug. Pull her into a hug. She's going to be snotty about it. Oh, no, she approves. Sorry. <laughs> We're not on fire. Thank you. I mean, you're welcome, but you're going to explode. You're literally still on fire. It's what she wanted. I can't believe it. Thank you, Damon. Thank you so much. It's the least I could do. Before you go... There's something I need to tell you. Oh, more that bad news. <laughs> engine of yours. It's contained for the moment, but it's just too hot to exist here in the material plane indefinitely. I know you know that, but the thing is, there's a cure. Oh, well, that's good I news. I wasn't making any headway <laughs> with the mechanics, none at all. The environment here is just too cold to sustain metals like the ones inside you. You have to return to Avernus. Oh, okay. That's the cure. For good. Or this thing is going to burn you up from the inside out. And sooner than you think. The minute I set foot back in Avernus, Zarya will force me back into service. I'm not doing her bidding again. I'd rather die. I get that, but don't rule it out. The world just might be better with you in it. Even in Avernus. I won't stop trying to figure out a cure, but at this point, I think we all have to face the inevitable. All right, first things first, Karlak, you have touchback, and I think we ought to celebrate that. Right? All this doom and gloom. I have something far more exciting on my mind than this bloody tin box. 
Can we have another party with the tieflings? (laughs) You've given me more than I could ever repay. It's been my pleasure. Good luck, both of you. Look after yourself, all right? All right. The Hellion's heart is complete, and Karlak wants to talk. Karlak, how you doing? This is the best day. The best day! I'm so happy for you, Karlak. I'm so happy for me, too. Now, I just need to find (laughs) someone to cuddle up to tonight, and I'll be the happiest woman on the Sword Coast. Damon sounded like he was making some overtures. You got anyone in mind? I'm not sure. Depends who's got me in mind. Withers was giving me the old idea of the other night. <laughs> then again, maybe it was just an old one. <laughs> oh my god, please, 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 please go. <laughs> go pair up with Withers. Uh, I guess we should find out as much as we can. So what about what Damon said about your engine? We need to get you back to Avernus or it's gonna blow. Listen, I'm never going back. If you said I could die right now or live a thousand years in the hells, I'd choose to go out now with my freedom intact. Understood. I don't expect anyone to understand that. But I've been dealt a hand most people don't have to contemplate playing. Yeah, I think this makes the most sense. I respect your decision, Karlak. <sighs> Thanks, soldier. Your support means I've got one less thing to worry about. <laughs> That means a lot to me. You really are the best of the best. Of the best. Karlak, let's get you back to camp so you can start making time with Withers. (laughs) (laughs) All right, and the last thing we need to do here is we have to speak to the Harpers outside the Last Light Inn, and there they are. They were surprised by somebody. Hmm. All right, let's step up and talk with them. You mean to reach Moonrise, and I have orders to help you. The path awesome. of the towers is drenched in blackness so deep, even a torch cannot quell it. Yet, the cultists have found a way to move freely. Whatever this method, you must claim it. A cultist convoy crosses the land as we speak. I've readied an ambush. Say the word, and we fly. Shouldn't Isabel's blessing keep me safe? <laughs> Isabel's blessing is a palliative, not a cure. Some shadows even her magic can't counter. All right, good to know. My feet are planted deep till you return, but don't tarry. The greater the opportunity, the shorter its visit. All right, well, I think that's where we're going to leave it. We've we've somewhat defended the Last Light Inn from Kethrick's advances, although it looks like they took Mole. Uh, we've helped Karlak for at least some short time find some happiness, and it seems like we are going to have some backup in heading to Moonrise Towers. I've told those guys to hang out for a bit while we get good and prepared, because when we come back, we're going to be stepping out into the Shadow Cursed Lands and onto Moonrise Towers. But we'll do that in the next episode. So subscribe for more Baldur's Gate, and I'll see you next time.